It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down, it's Friday. <laughs> Welcome to Friday's vlog, everybody. I am going to get my hair done this morning because it's Friday and that's what we do every Friday is we go get a blow dry. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. It's gone bitterly cold and when I say bitterly cold, I mean it's like 12 degrees. I'm wearing double denim today, guys, and I don't even care. And the tones are kind of similar in, de in the denim, I'm not going to lie, but I never do double denim. I think double denim is a fashion sin but I couldn't find any other jacket this morning and this was just sitting there waiting for me and I was like damn I'm wearing jeans but I'm just gonna go get my hair done then I'm making a quick quick trip to Penny's because I want to pick up a hot water bottle I know I know a hot water bottle my other hot water bottle the rubber in it became weak and I was just terrified it was going to burst so I've been t using my mum's hot water, hot water bottle and a life without a hot water bottle is not a life I want to live in because hot water bottles are just gold. I'm going to call down to John, he is in work obviously and I'm going to call down to his workplace, it's about 40 minutes away from where I live just to see him because he wants me to meet him for lunch and he's going off this weekend obviously to Connemara so he's like can you please come down to my workplace I'd love to hang out with you before I go off and I was like of course I will and then I watched this other movie with my mum and my dad on Netflix called The Boy guys don't watch that movie it's so bloody freaky it's about a woman who comes to be a nanny in a house and she's basically being a nanny for a doll a doll it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my whole life and I I wish I could unsee it to be honest because it just freaked me out and it was one of those movies where I was kind of like zooming through it because I was like what is happening what is actually going on in this movie let me just get to near the end to see what's actually happening it's just absolute and utter rubbish so don't watch that don't waste your time on the boy because it was just freaky Ugh. I hate like weird doll things like that. They just freak me out so much. I had a china doll when I was younger that my auntie and uncle bought for me. And I actually really loved her, but she was very pretty and she was a Russian doll. She was so pretty. And her name was Imogen. And I get freaked out by like clown dolls and stuff like that, but not Imogen. Imogen was beautiful. She had a china face and she had like little fluffy muffs and a fluffy hat. Because obviously she was a Russian doll. But uh, yeah, some of those dolls freak me out, especially if they're clowns or like what you call marionettes. Oh, I just get really freaked out. Oh, they give me the shivers. Some girl at me in my comment section actually the other day for vlogging whilst driving because I was taking clips of the road down to Carlo and Kilkenny and I was like honey I'm not driving I'm really safe on the road guys I promise I would never vlog when I'm driving that's so dangerous and irresponsible my life is more important than vlogging sorry guys but it is and putting other people in danger on the road I was actually a passenger in the car that's why I was vlogging and when I'm vlogging like this my full focus is on the road and I'm just talking like you would be if there was someone sitting beside you and the camera's mounted on my window I'm not even touching my camera I have to explain that in nearly every single one of my vlogs where I'm driving if like there's if I'm vlogging because people think that I'm being irresponsible on the road I'm like no they have mounts for your windows now for your vlog camera and also I can hold a vlog camera while I'm a passenger in a car that's completely and utterly safe John was driving and focusing on the road so don't worry, I would never put myself or other people into danger. So we're out of the hairdressers and my hair is so nice. I'm so happy with it. It's nice and clean and soft and growing, which is the most important thing ever, is that my hair is growing. It just makes me very happy every day when my hair gets a little bit longer. Right now, I'm going home. I'm gonna edit today's video, beauty video, and edit yesterday's vlog. I'm in such good form this morning. I slept really well last night. I was in bed before midnight. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I do not go to bed before midnight. It just does not happen. I am an after midnight girl. I am a night owl, and I love, love, love to go to bed after midnight I don't know why but John is not John is an early bird so we compromise and go to bed at you know he usually likes to go to bed at 10 I like to go after midnight so we go at 11 now compromising and I just feel so much refreshed in the morning when I get to bed just that little tiny bit earlier I was up at 7 this morning and I just like hopped out of bed and I was just ready for the day I was just ready to take on the day I don't know what you guys are making of the whole YouTube beauty industry at the moment because I am shook 
shook to my inner core. I'm shook and I'm really disappointed and sad. And you know what else is kind of sad? This isn't just isolated to the American YouTube industry or beauty community industry or whatever. This happens in Ireland. People ask me why I never go to events for every single reason that Nikki Tutorial talked about in one of her videos as to why she does not go to events. I know Shanix O said it as well. And they are all the reasons that I don't go. First of all, I don't feel like I belong to any clique because I do not conform. <laughs> I am not able to go into a box. I just can't. I can't conform and I cannot be like everybody else. I just don't know how to do that. So therefore, I stick out like a sore thumb. I just feel really kind of weird when I go to beauty events and stuff like that because there's clicks. There's clicks in the Irish industry. They are just as bad, if not worse, some of the clicks than the US you know, YouTubers, it happens here in Ireland, I think because Ireland's so small as well, the diversity, you know, the, we're, we're a small country, so everybody knows everybody who does something in beauty, and I'm not talking about YouTubers, or Instagrammers, or bloggers, or whatever here in Ireland, I'm talking about even business owners here in Ireland, that I have been completely and utterly annihilated by, felt like about that small, and just made to feel like a piece of crap, and then they might see you getting a few more followers, a few more views, recognized by bigger brands like Nivea and stuff. And then they all were like, oh, you're doing so well. It's so great. I'd love if you came to this and did this. And I'd love if you met up and I'd love to do a collab with you. And I'd love to, and I'm like, nah, -uh, honey. No, 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 no. I don't work like that. If you want to be my friend, be my friend you know because of the person I am not because of the numbers or because people such and such follows me or because I got to work with such and such a brand or whatever it's ridiculous it's all association my stupid camera died so I'm gonna have to put it on charge and I'm gonna go meet John for lunch so I won't have any footage from that while this is charging but when I come back I will continue vlogging in case you're wondering why it cut out midway when I was talking in the car that's just what happened but I want to continue that conversation I was having with you guys at a later time okay I'll talk to you guys in a bit hi guys I'm home I am home sweet home but I'm heading out again in the next hour because Neve just texted me and we are going to the gym. So I am going to be gymming it tonight. I haven't been to the gym in forever and a day. I was supposed to go last week. Everything just got in the way. Work was so busy. I had stuff to do, send off videos. So this week I was like, right, we will do this on Friday and we are going tonight and I can't wait. So I tried to book into my class and I can't book into my class. You need to use an app to book into your class, obviously. And I can't do that. I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to text Neve and be like, hey, help me. I can't book into the class. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and edit this video because I have an hour to get to the gym. So I'm gonna be going with a face of makeup. I hate working out with makeup because I just feel like the sweat and like everything getting into your pores. It's just gonna be so not cute. Not cute at all. I met John for Lynn. L -l lunch and I had the best lunch ever with them obviously he's going away this weekend so we just had like a nice relaxing lunch and he bought me lunch it was so yummy I got turkey dinner <laughs> I did make a trip to Penny's I'm not gonna lie I went into Penny's I'm so bold I went in to get a hot water bottle and I didn't find the hot water bottle I was looking for so Shannon did tell me it's in the Penny's near us so I'm gonna go to that Penny's and see is it there because I really want the Thumper hot water bottle I just really 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 want it and uh, I just think Thumper is such a cute little character. And I mean, it's so fitting that I have like a Disney hot water bottle and Disney pajamas and Disney socks because it's just, you know, that's that's what you relax in, your Disney clothes, obviously. And um, so I will show you what I did get. Now I messed up on one thing because it was on the wrong hanger and that is like the number one mistake you make in pennies is buying something when it's on a hanger with the size on it because you would pick up your wrong size and that's what I did but I'll return it and get the right size although this may fit me I don't know we'll have to try it on. too exciting but I did pick up this cord dress this is the thing that is probably not going to fit me please ignore the mess on my bed it's a cord pinafore 
isn't it so beautiful it's in burgundy now when i did get this i bumped into about three people who had the same pinafore on uh in pennies actually and i was just kind of like oh everybody has this but it is so pretty and it was only 15 euro now i got it in a size eight i am generally a size six in pennies but it's not a big deal i'll just wear it anyway or if it really is too baggy i'll get the size six but i just thought it was really cute um it was on a size six hanger so i don't know what happened that's just pennies for you these days. Got this little body to go underneath that I just think that grey and burgundy go really nice together. I just thought that was quite cute. And then I got this jacket, guys. I've been looking for this jacket everywhere and it was so expensive. They had it in, what you call it last year, River Island. And it was just so stinking expensive. It was like 80 euro. I bought it in grey last year, but I was like, I'm not spending like... 160 euro on two jackets so now they have it in pennies in black which is what i wanted and this one has zip pockets on it as well i have it in gray i have it in pink that i got it in bershka i have it in like a, a tan color as well but i needed a, a black one because it's just really dressy but then you can wear it in like for casual wear as well so it's just perfect for nights out for dinner or if you're just going out and about i just think it's really nice in casual wear and that was 28 euro so not like the cheap cheapest of jackets from pennies but it's so pretty and 28 euros is not too bad it's full suede as well just in case you were wondering I'll try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like that's it there isn't it just so pretty i love it i love the big zip on it as well and the zips on the pockets rather that's what it looks like zipped up it's just so pretty i love it love it so much although i am a bit kind of wary that there's like a random kind of like pocket just kind of there does that look weird? Like, why is that there? It's just not even a real pocket. It just kind of looks a bit odd, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring this pinafore back. It's way too big. So it should be kind of like that on your body, like tight. But it's just real baggy. Like, it's just, it just doesn't fit me right. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very petite, guys. I know you probably are like, whoa, why are you fussing over, like, the sizes? Just wear the size 8 and leave it baggy. But I am quite petite. I'm short. I know I don't look short on camera. But I am quite short and petite. And things, like, just look like they're just hanging on me if they're not in my right size. So this is just, have to, it has to go back. It has to. Okay, I thought maybe if I adjusted the straps, it might work. But it just, no, it's just, no. It looks like an absolute bin bag on me. <laughs> you are going back. You're so pretty, but you're going back and I'll get my right size because I do quite like this. It's cute. And while I was getting dressed and undressed, I get into my gym gear. Guys, I am so sad. But look, I've coordinated my top with my new runners. They're so cute. I love my new runners. So I got this top in pennies and the bottoms are from pennies and the runners are Nikes. But they're coral and they match the top. I am so sad, but I don't even care. I'm obsessed with these new runners. They're actually delicious. I'm not sure what make they are because I threw away the box but I showed them in another vlog where I actually showed what make they were and I'll try and find them and link them down below if I can but aren't they just the cutest runners ever? So they're going to be my gym my gym runners from now on because my other ones were the whole way around Vietnam and China and they're kind of destroyed but I love these so much. Ah, I need to clean up my room. Look at this. Look at this mess. Ah. The other jacket I was to show you that I got down in Carlo. Now, I didn't see this in the other pennies that I was in today. And I got this in, what size did I get it? In a six, which is perfect. A US two. Just, I know an awful lot of people ask me, like, what size I am in US size. So, that actually converts everything there for you. If you're from Europe or if you're from Italy. For whatever reason, they have different sizing. And this is only 25 euro, guys. This isn't cheaper than the other jacket. And I actually prefer this to the black one because I just think it's a bit more formal. Let's try it on with the gym gear, shall we? So if you feel really formal, like you want to wear a formal jacket to the gym, you could definitely wear this. The camel ensemble, I think, goes quite nice with these uh, runners. <laughs> I'm totally joking. But there you go. That jacket is so cute. I love it so much for 25 euro. It's so pretty and it reminds me of the ones that were in Zara last year. I got one in grey, but I just really like the camel for this time of year. Oh my god, my nails match! <laughs> Something definitely wrong with me when I get excited over the fact that my nails match my top, which also match my runners. <laughs> I like am I even going to the gym at all who do I think I am this is what I do I'm like okay let's coordinate your outfit for the gym you have no interest whatsoever in the gym but let's just coordinate the outfit first
I'm much more into my yoga to be honest and I'm starting back yoga this week or as in like next week coming and I cannot wait to go back to yoga because yoga just just really was like my jam it really was I think the day I did a headstand in yoga I was like this is for me this is just totally me it pushes me to my limits I'm like let's try and do a headstand and your legs up in the air I just <laughs> I love yoga if anybody wants to kind of feel good about their mod body their body and mind I recommend yoga if you haven't done it do it John and I are going to complete yoga done in heat intense heat i don't know how i'm going to survive that but we're going to try it anyway he's done it before and he's done it before and said that i should be more than okay because i've done yoga and i'm good at yoga it was like the oh, you know when you do loads of sports when you're in school um well i was always good at like running and i was good at hockey but everything else i just failed at i was terrible at gaa any sort of gaa i was just crap at it because girls would come and like elbow me out of the way and i'd be like falling over real dramatically and then i didn't really have a massive interest in camogie i tried basketball i enjoyed that but i just never kept up anything i loved hockey but i just gave it up when i was in school as well and i continued running from when i was like eight i did track when i lived in dundalk and i loved track so much it was like the best one ever and i used to do it on a thursday night and I remember after track we used to get rock shandy out of the pendant machine and I was like club rock shandy it's just like the best thing ever they're just so nice if you're not from Ireland rock shandy is basically I'm sure everybody knows what rock shandy is it's basically fizzy orange and fizzy lemon mixed together and it's just the most amazing combination in in a bottle it was just delish I probably wouldn't drink it now because I'd be like I'm a diet coke girl for life I just cut and drink anything else anyway i'm so rambling like what time is it now it's probably time to go to the gym it's uh, 10 past five so i'm not supposed to meet neve until five to six so i'm gonna have to leave and go to the gym now in about 10 minutes don't know how i'm gonna get on i'm really worried i'm so worried neve's really fit i'm just gonna be there struggling out of breath drowning in my own sweat <laughs> but it'll be fun i can't wait and i'll fill you in later at how i got on also 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 i made a finally made an appointment to go back to the dentist so i'm due into the dentist next week i don't know what's wrong with me today i'm so hyper active today i'm just in really good form i just had a really good lunch with john and a really good chat with him as well i don't know if you've ever been in a relationship where you can tell the other person everything i tell john things and he like solves things for me like i was like oh i'm getting headaches and you know i just feel real kind of grumpy at the moment and he was just like you need to get out more in the mornings go for a walk do your yoga you know go to the gym with neve you know get out more and i was like yeah you're so right and then he was just giving me really good advice he's just so good to me like he really is and it just makes me love him even more like when he's there giving advice and telling me stuff that i could do to to help me because sometimes i'm like afraid that my mental health issues are going to come back like it's like my biggest fear ever like they're always going to be there like that's just a thing forever and i'm just afraid that i'm going to go back into that situation that i was in earlier this year and it terrifies me like terrifies me it's the scariest thing ever because that place that i was in earlier this year was like a place I would never even want to put my worst enemy in. I've said that before, but I don't have any enemies. But if there was someone I didn't like, I would never wish the way I felt upon them because it was just horrible, 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 horrible. John just helps me so much by just ch chatting to me, just talking to me, just general chit chat talking to me and problem solving with me and, you know, giving me good advice. And, you know, he's really into healthy eating and he's very fit and he, you know, runs marathons and he goes to the gym and he works out and he runs a lot and he does, you know, mountain climbing and he's very, very, very active and he has a very good mindset as well. Like his mindset is so positive. He's such a positive person. And when I feel a bit crap and I ask him for advice and stuff, he just he just makes me feel a million times better and just like lightens my load and just makes my day so much better. And that's why I think we're very compatible because when he doesn't feel great, I help him and vice versa. And I've just never had that before. And it just feels amazing to be able to tell your partner everything and then just come back to you with positivity and just 
make you feel so much better and it's just amazing it's just the best feeling ever and that's why when people say like you've been the happiest you've ever been in your whole life that is why because anytime I feel like I have a problem I can tell him and we we fix it together um anytime that I feel crap I tell him and he makes me feel better and and vice versa like I do the same things for him because that is what a partnership is all about that's why I've been the happiest I've ever been in my whole life because I've never been able to do that before and as crazy as that may seem it's true and it's just it's that's why it's just such a lovely 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 relationship I've been waiting to meet somebody as amazing as him because obviously like my friends are super amazing my family are so amazing but I didn't have that in a partner and now I do and it just makes everything just crazy happy like in your life but you still have down days like you do like you wouldn't be normal if you didn't but that's why people in your life who love you help you through the down days and you help yourself as well by getting out more getting active eating better and taking care of yourself I said in the other day's vlog that I felt really ugly and it was not that I felt really ugly in my appearance I just felt just I just I was having a bad day I just felt crap inside and outside and like nothing I could do with myself made me feel any better whereas the last few days I just feel so much better and so much happier and you know everything's good at the moment I'm getting really deep here I don't know why but uh yeah anyway I just I'm going to head to the gym now I'm gonna meet Neve. it's definitely been oh yeah yeah it's time to go guys wish me luck fingers crossed I don't die or anything and I'll talk to you later okay I'm out of the gym and I don't look like a sweaty mess now because I'm actually out of the gym 10 minutes and that was an intense workout I just want to say that was intense I did T-Rex we did weights I did everything upper body core everything and I was dead.com I am so dead right now I feel really good though and I feel really happy after going and then going with Neve as well because she's just so enthusiastic Oh my chew! My chew! That's just a sign. That's a sign. It was on when we were in there and I was like, this is my jam. In my mind, new, uh, I think it's either, is it Diplo? I'm not sure who does it, but it's um, DJ Agostino. DJ Gigi Agostino, oh my god, I can never say that name. He's like so, when I was like a little bub, that hit all his tunes were out and I absolutely love them. This is just so epic. I feel really pumped, really happy after going to the gym and John rang me there. I'd say he rang me to see how I got on, to see if I was okay. Because he was a little bit like concerned. He was like, I hope you're okay and you'll be able to work out and everything. I was like, yeah, I'll be grand, I'll be fine. So I have little muscles in my arms, like not big muscles, but mostly from painting. I have muscles in my arms, look at that. <laughs> and I feel like my arms are getting much stronger, like my body is much stronger and I'm definitely in much better condition than I was like in December when I last did like full on proper workouts. Like cause my body fat percentage was so low and my muscle was wasted. It was like 45 kilos or something like that, ridiculous. Um, and I was just quite low. I'm gonna listen to this tune, tune at the highest highest volume my neighbors are gonna hate me i'm just gonna sit outside my house listening to this tune quite loudly <laughs> Hi guys, back in my room. <laughs> I am going for a shower now and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm gonna chill out with the fam and just relax I suppose for the evening and I'm already feeling the pain in my legs <laughs> from doing like squats and like chest presses and stuff. It's just tough going, tough going. So I'm gonna go shower myself, chill out for the evening and have a nice relaxing evening. I feel like today's vlog is going to be a million years long so apologies for that if you're not looking for a long vlog but if you are I hope you enjoyed today I hope you had a great day wherever you are I had a wonderful day and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow I love you all so much Mwah. bye guys